Hey guys, how's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I have that Subaru Forester. What year did I say this thing was? It's a, uh, I don't know. I forgot. 09? Yeah, 2009, Subaru Forester. With a 2.5. Remember I said the customer stated the engine hot light would come on? It dawned on me after I made that video. And I've run into this before. So I did research this. Um, and it makes a lot of sense. But I've run into this before and I forgot about it because it was a long time ago. Engine oil. Yeah. Engine oil. Check your oil. You're low on oil. Your engine's working harder. You could be having temperature problems. So sure enough, I checked the oil. Check this out. All right. Yes, I know. The battery is disgusting. Now, as you see, it's fully seated. There's a, there is nothing, nothing on this stick. It's dry. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of it beforehand to check the engine oil, but I didn't. So, I got some engine oil here. We are going to add it. All right. Now, this is actually bulk oil, so ignore the container itself because it's not what it's supposed to be. Even though I think it's actually the right... Yeah. It says 530 on the container, but this is bulk oil. I just took from the bulk container. So I'm going to add about two quarts... I had four quarts in the container. Another half quart. Close enough. Close enough for right now. All right. And the seal for the oil cap fell down. Just put this funnel over here in our little trash pile of stuff. I just don't want to lose that seal. Okay. That's two quarts. Still nothing on this stick. It's amazing that thing didn't have an oil light on. All right. All right, let's do this. So yes, even myself, with all the years of experience I have, sometimes you forget things. I'm getting older, I forget things a little more often. Try to do this one-handed. There we go. All right. So now our oil level is full. So it took three quarts. And this thing only holds, I think, 4.2. So, all right. We're going to hook the scanner back up to this. And we're going to road test it. We're going to see where the coolant level, or, yeah, see where the coolant light or coolant temperature stays, not coolant light, because, well, the light comes on, but obviously that doesn't tell us anything other than engine's cold or engine's hot. So let me get everything hooked up, get this oil cap back on, and let's take it for a road test. So I got the scanner hooked up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing for a road test. Once I'm up on the road, then I'm going to start recording it, and then we'll see what the actual recording is. Right now, the temperature's holding steady at 190 degrees. So, like, I already got it warmed up. So... Here you can see, 190.4. So like I said, let me go we'll road test it. And then during the road test, that's when I'll start recording and we can review the recording. So back from the road test, here I got a graph. Let me show you. It's actually, the motor is running cooler than it was before. but it, And it's holding steady like it was before, but on a cooler side. Let me just show you. So here, 
as you see, the temperature reading up there is basically at that at that beginning point over here. So it's holding steady, 203. Here it goes up to like two. What the heck was that? 221 at a high point. And I have the AC on too. But on average, it's staying below 200. It pops above. Those are points in time where I came to a stop. I was at a traffic light in traffic, whatever. But then even still, it goes down to like 185. So it, the motor itself is running cooler. So I think that was the whole problem. It's just low on oil. So it's something to consider. And I've run into that before, but I'd be willing to bet that's the whole problem. But we know this thing has a cool, um, an oil leak. So, and the customer does want to fix that. So I think that that was the entire issue is just being low on oil. So, um, but we're going to throw a thermostat in it anyway, just to be on the safe side. Um, all right. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you that. Sometimes just got to think. Sometimes I don't. And it happens. What are you going to do? Um, but, all right. So that's pretty much it. All right. Hopefully you're getting something out of my videos. If you are, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.